Hi, hello. Good evening to everyone of you. Um, in this occasion, I want to um, give you information about uh, NEET exam. What is NEET exam? What is the exam pattern? What is the syllabus? Uh, and then uh, how many questions uh, they will ask in the exam? And, uh, and then uh, we will see about how many seats are present in the uh, medical colleges, both uh, private, government, all over India and then uh, how many seats are present in every states and uh, what is the reservation policy they are uh, uh, mentioning uh, that to be followed uh, in the admission process this will help you for uh, understanding the thing properly thereby you can uh, plan the exam in a proper way okay now we will see about what is NEET NEET is nothing but National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. This is an uh, entrance test meant for all medical colleges in, in India, uh, both private as well as uh, government institutions. This is an unified test for all states and all union territories in India because each state is following different entrance tests for enrollment in their medical colleges. Now this will be unified and um, all the doctors should be in a uh, proper eligibility criteria. What is the eligibility in order to attend the exam? The person should be uh, after passing uh, 12th standard, they are eligible to attend the exam, so 17 years. Upper age limit will be 25. There will be a relaxation for OBC, SC, ST. 30 years of age can write the exam also uh, how many attempts they will allow for uh, writing the exam only three times this is a new rule uh, before that you can attend how uh, any number of times to clear the examination within the particular age upper age limit but now it will become three times only exam dates usually the exam will happen in may first week application starts from uh, january onwards in the board examination, whether it is CBSE or state board, you should score a minimum of 60% marks in physics, chemistry and biology. It is essential. Now we will see about the uh, marking patterns, uh, how many number of questions they will ask in the NEET exam and uh, how the marking system is followed. Here, physics, 45 questions and then uh, chemistry, 45 questions. So totally uh, 90 questions and then uh, biology will possess 90 questions, uh, botany and zoology each 45-45, totally 180 questions. In that uh, marking system will be 180, if you answer the correct properly 180 questions, then uh, the total score will be 720, 180 into 4. Because if you answer correctly, then uh, 180 into 4, 720 will be the total marks of this examination. Here, uh, if you answer wrongly, then uh, minus 1 uh, will be the negative markings. So, you should answer properly. Otherwise, you should skip the question. This is the way how you should uh, answer the NEET exam pattern. You should not answer all the questions. Uh, without knowing at least 50% uh, of the answers. And then what is the syllabus they are following? It is nothing very simple thing. They are following um, uh, plus 2 and plus 1 of CBSE syllabus, uh, Physics, Chemistry and Biology books, NCRT. In addition, you should uh, think about some of the important concepts uh, which will relate to BSE and some MSc levels. Now we will see about the admission criteria. Now all India quota will be 15% and state quota will be 85% of the total government seats. Totally there are 39,000 government seats all over India. Here all India quota will be 3500 plus 291 BDS seats and state government quota will be 35000 seats 
and private college seats will be 26,040 seats. Totally 65,302 seats of medical uh, MBBS seats and BDS seats are present in India. These all seats will be filled according to the mark scoring in the NEET examination. In a, it is must that everyone should qualify the exam, at least uh, qualification. Qualification is different and getting medical seat is different. By preparing a merit list, they are admitting uh, the students to the uh, government seats which are free. N uh, qualification is essential in order to uh, pursue the medical uh, MBBS uh, degree in India. So, one should uh, qualify and then uh, if he possesses money means they can enroll in uh, private colleges uh, otherwise if he, de he cannot uh, qualify means he cannot enter into the private colleges also so qualification is essential for uh, uh, private colleges and uh, getting more marks and getting merit uh, is essential to enter into the government quota free seats Now we will see about the uh, states and their number of uh, MBBS seats. Here in Andhra Pradesh, 6000 seats are there. Likewise, up to Madhya Pradesh, here there is a list. You can see. This Karnataka possesses 6000 seats. And then... Uh, and now see Maharashtra they have 5000 and uh, Puducherry 1100 and then uh, our uh, Tamil Nadu possess uh, 5000 seats so totally tantamount to 63,800 uh, seats now it was increased to 65,000 uh, because of uh, addition of uh, medical colleges and uh, accreditation by, accredited by Medical Council of India now we will see about the reservation pattern OBC 27% and SC 15 and ST 7.5 Physically Handicapped 3% This Physically Handicapped uh, they should get a certificate from prescribed uh, medical hospitals uh, like uh, MMC in uh, Chennai and AIMS in uh, New Delhi likewise they have some prescribed hospitals where you can uh, you should obtain the Physically Handicapped uh, certificate Okay, what are all the medical colleges that are exempted from NEET as of now? Uh, only AIMS and Jibmar. They are conducting their own exam on different dates. Uh, by means of that entrance exam, they are enrolling the students in their respective MBBS and medical seats. M more things about NEET uh, you just uh, see here uh, and subscribe my video so that you can uh, if you if you want to know about uh, more things about need then you just subscribe this video you can uh, visualize about uh, need pattern and uh, amazing tricks that you can follow in order to uh, crack the need very easily hope it will be useful thank you